All right, today we're gonna to show you how to change out the guides on your Fromm P331 tool. First, you wanna start by removing your battery. It's a pretty simple process. We're gonna remove this front cover. we we'll start with, so we can go ahead and get to all of our guides. Go ahead and set that to the side right here. You're gonna remove want to remove all three of these little Allen screws right here, exposing your feed wheel. Okay, once you see your feed wheel right here, you're gonna wanna slide this piece out right here, okay? You're going to want to tour your tool to the front. You're going to remove these two screws. Okay. You're going to go to the back side. Back side, you've got two little screws right here. Let's go ahead and be careful not to strip these screws out. Go ahead and set that off to the side. Right here, you're gonna see a little snap ring on this right here. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. Okay. You're just gonna to wanna to pop that little snap ring off right there. Trying to be careful not to damage the snap ring. Okay, here we go right there. You're gonna pull these down Slide that off. All right, you got a little gold pin that's in there. You pull that out, and your block should pretty well slide out, exposing your cutter. Go ahead and make sure that doesn't move around in there. There's a spring in there, and we get it back. In here, right here, you're going to remove these two pins that are down here. To do that, we're going to remove so forth. Do not lose the little spring. It's in the back of those. Okay, there's your second one. That is removing the guides off of a Fromm P331. Now we're gonna show you how to replace the guides on your Fromm P331 tool. First, you wanna start by reassembling your cutter block. You wanna slide a spring into each side. I'm placing a guide pin directly over those springs. Putting these guide pins in, you want to make sure that the notch is facing you. You're going to take your seesaw lever, and you're going to stick the pointed end into that notch, push your pin through. Do the same thing on the other side. Once the pins are pushed through, you just want to kind of squeeze them together a little bit. You should have something that looks a lot like this. Okay. Now we're gonna reinstall this into the back side of the tool. This piece fits directly over the cutter. As you can see, you have grooves right there. This doesn't always slide in perfectly the first time. Sometimes you have to work with it a little bit. Okay, but once you see it's in, you can see the side of your cutter block will sit flush with the side of the frame of the tool. You want to take your gold pin and reinsert it into the side. I'm going to go back to your thrust piece again. And as you see on the front of your cutter block, there's two grooves cut out for it. So you're just going to pull back on your seesaw levers a little bit. Place that in there. Everything should fit smoothly. Now you want to go ahead and reinstall your snap ring. Place your snap ring over the pin. Snap it on there like that. And you can lay your tool on the side now. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and install our foot. There's a little notch right here 
where you can see where the back side of this settles into like that and this is the way it should sit there's a cut groove in the bottom of this plate right here just for that now you're going to reinsert your feed wheel cutter cover reinsuring that this pin right here goes into that groove I'm going to work with it a little bit that's what you should look like right there you're going to take your three allen screws you're going to reinstall Alright, so once you get them there, go ahead and snug them up a little bit. Make sure they're not going to come loose on you. Alrighty. And you want to go and re reinstall your front guide. See there's a cutout right there where that fits right there. Just kind of sets into place. Screwdriver back out. Go ahead and tighten these back down. Trying not to again, stripping out these screws. Alright, you don't have to get these tremendously tight. Just snug them up, make sure they're not going to come off. Okay. Go back to your side cover. There's a pin right here in this side cover that's going to slide right down here. Okay. Everything should slide right back on correctly. Your longer screw will go right there. Your shortest screw will go next. Next two screws are the same size. And just place them in there like that. You don't want to strip these screws out either. All right, last step. We're going to reinstall our back plastic cover over to that. Go back to your hand screwdriver again. Trying not to strip these smaller screws out right here. Now they get them super tight, you just got to snug them up a little bit. And that is how you change the guides on a From P331 tool.